Hey guys, my name is Dewey Jones. Welcome to Colorado Mall Crawlers, where today we are actually going to film a successful trail guide. This one is supposed to be very Moab-like. Let's get on the trail. Now guys, my last three attempts at filming a trail guide have not gone successfully. Actually, it might be more than three. I'll tell you all about it in today's video. But here on the screen right now is the details of this trail. So let's keep going. I'm gonna get some awesome shots for you today. Now this first little climb is kind of steep so I did go into four wheel drive low just to make it a little bit easier on the Jeep and we're just gonna crawl up. It looks like there's some rocks in the way but we'll be all right. All right, well this one is already starting off fun. That climb is definitely harder than I thought it would be but it's really not too challenging. I was trying to film and do a whole bunch of stuff but I found this one at the end was kind of tricky and hopefully I can show it to you guys a little better. Now just for reference, the rock is just below my knee here and then you have the other rock is just below your knee here, which makes it a little bit challenging but this is fun. This might be a uh, trickier trail than I was expecting, which should make for an excellent video. Here's another little easy obstacle. This is probably just a moderate one. Does look like some people stock, stack some rocks. but we will get some shots of us going up this. Well, this isn't a bad view once you climb the hill, but it looks like we are gonna have much better views, some oranges, some yellows, some canyons. I am excited for it. I am going to be using Fun Treks today because they have a full guide. However, you can also find this one in Trails Off Road. And it's right now a scouting trip, but it does have some very useful information there also. So this is this is looking good. This is going to be a good day. Now my last video should have been the first failed trail guide. I was trying to get a Chicken Corners trail guide filmed and it just didn't go very well. My buddy, the Fearless Trail Hawk, ended up having some issues out in the trail. He is back and running though and I'm sure he'll have a video talking about what happened coming up. All right guys, now this is the first campsite that I've seen from the trail. Now, it looks like you have a pretty good view here. Not too bad. You've got definitely the book cliffs in the distance that you could see from here. Now, I'm not really sure if I could get my off-road camper to this spot. Probably could. And let's see if I have cell phone service. I do, which means I could probably get to work if they called me here, which brings me to that question is basically, one reason I did not air down on this today's trail is because I am on call at work and I'm noticing this trail might be a little bit more intensive time-wise than I was expecting.
Well, I'm just really excited to see where this trail goes because in the Fun Treks book, they say that this trail has Moab-like views. And, you know, that's, that's a big statement right there because Moab's trails are absolutely gorgeous. But Fun Treks knows Moab, so I trust them. And I think we're gonna see some amazing things. All right, guys, as we head back towards these beautiful views, let me tell you about the trail guide I just tried to film with the Jeep Liberty. Unicom Mountain near Tennessee. And I was testing the Jeep also on, you know, just a steeper climb of a road because I was going to road trip it to Colorado and make it my primary trail vehicle for here. Well, I'm out there with my mom and we're going to see these beautiful kind of East Tennessee, Smoky Mountain, Appalachian Mountain views, and the Jeep starts overheating. And I had been driving the Jeep all week, doing errands for my parents, helping them out, and it was perfectly fine. No overheating, nothing. It only overheated as I was climbing. So unfortunately, I couldn't road trip it to Colorado, and I couldn't finish that trail guide. excited to find some Moab like views which I've seen some photos and I think we're gonna encounter that all right even though I'm sure my Jeep can make the harder line here I'm alone so I'm gonna do the moderate line which is coming up through here might look good might not we'll try to curb it so I don't hit the GoPro That first one was just bad driving by me. All right, guys, we did just encounter three Jeeps and those guys did let me know that it does get more Moab-like as we get back here. So I'm pretty excited about that. It also let me know that this is a two-way trail. I haven't done a lot of research on this. I like to experience the trail as it is, new, fresh, and kind of see, what, see what's out there. But this is a two-way trail. Now, Funtrex does describe this trail going from white water to Grand Junction, so that might be the better way because they usually do run it in both directions. There's probably more challenges coming up, but so far the Liberty could do this trail, especially being a little bit more narrow than the JL. I think it would be um, a lot easier on that first climb because I wouldn't have to worry too much about the sides. And there's been nothing that the Liberty can't get over, although I really won't know until I try it. Well, for the first seven miles of this trail, I have had cell phone reception pretty much the entire time. So I could theoretically bring the camper back here if I could find some more spots. I'm mostly looking for anything that's across or uh, next to the trail, which surprising enough, looks like uh, there's a spot right here. The views aren't as good as that other one I showed you. Um, Honestly, the views for the last maybe mile or two miles haven't been that good. It's been fun driving. It's kind of gone from easy to moderate sections, but I'm really excited to see what we're gonna see later. It's always fun when there's little obstacles to play on. So here's one, doesn't look too bad. Try to get a high shot and a low shot. This makes not having the Liberty a little bit more of a bummer considering I'm pretty sure the Liberty could do this trail. Now I know this probably doesn't look good on camera, but we'll see how the stock Wrangler does. There is a bypass though for it, so I figured might as well show it.
stick makes it a little harder, but it was still fun. I probably would have done the bypass in the Liberty. Now this is gonna be a successful trail guide. We're gonna take a brief break while it rains and I'll be right back with you. That wasn't too bad, but I'm sure it didn't look impressive on the GoPro's angles, but I think the Liberty could have done it. We maneuvered it right up the same way. Now I think we are in the section that Fun Tracks listed as difficult. There is some difficult spots maybe, or easy difficult, but I have not needed lockers, and I'm just using low range to get around them. So maybe high moderate? I don't know. All right, after that little climb that you go up, you drive a little bit and there is a little pull off to the right. Looks like this is a camp spot with a view of Grand Junction. You also can just camp here and it is quite exposed, but it's really not that bad. But we're gonna continue on and go that way. And apparently it's gonna get Moab-like. Couple different paths to go on here, but this one looks like the most fun. We'll go into Tor Low. Now this is a trail that gets impassable when it's wet, so I definitely wouldn't venture out here uh, if it's flash flooding or storms are happening, because you can tell that this trail probably gets pretty, pretty dangerous, pretty slick. But if you've done it, let me know. Looks like there's a couple different ways to go, kind of showing you. Although it really isn't that bad. We're just gonna go this way, get off camber a little bit. I know that probably looked flat on there, but I got to 22, briefly to 22 on the roll. You know, if you stay up here, you'd probably be a little bit more, but I think I did dip into this and then I bounced back up. And then you also, on this rock right here, you dip a little bit, but it really wasn't that bad. trying to be careful in here because I think this is a perfect area for bears to be at. There's a lot of cover so I'm kind of keeping my eye out because I'd love to get one on camera for you guys but we're going to keep on going. We are coming upon a little rocky area. I'm just going to be in four low and try to pick a line through it but let me get you a better shot. We're just going to pop down off of this but that look cool. That was kind of rough down there too. All right, that was pretty easy. Just pick your lines, come around here, hop off these little rocks, and then just keep crawling on down. All right, let's see what we got next. That was a little tricky, but not too bad. Let's set up for the next shot, probably. Well, we've been kind of
kind of in the trees. I'm trying to get some other shots, but there really isn't much to look at around in this section. So we're going to kind of zoom through, but it's still fun. It's just, uh, I'm really hoping the end of this trail ends with a bang. Cause I mean, you could call this Moab like, uh, in terms of LaSalle mountain like, but that's more LaSalle's or like Colorado, that kind of terrain. So I don't know. I don't know if we're going to encounter any true Moab like stuff because so far when I think of Moab, I don't think of this. All right, now as we get through this easy section and get to some more challenging sections, let me tell you about the third failed trail guide I had, and that was in this area, Escalante Canyon. Now, this was a trail that I did when I first moved out to Grand Junction in 2014, 2015, and it was a just really scenic, gorgeous trail, and I wanted to go back there and just kind of show you guys all the stuff that's back there. There's tons of trails, there's water crossings, come across this really massive like tank and that was really neat to see I didn't know what that tank was from if you guys know let me know down in the comments cuz I was gonna look it up and I just haven't done that yet but I kept going because I was going towards Gateway and I made a left at that intersection and uh, cuz that would have taken me back to Divide Road and I would have been able to show you guys more of the trail but I came across a Forest Service gate this Forest Service gate it was locked, yet the sign said it was supposed to be open May 30th. And my whole premise of that video was I was going to show you the area back there. And, you know, so it ended up being a failed trail guide because I had to make a U turn. Now I learned. Now I had to learn how to say the name of this trail. I am not very good at pronunciations, but I did find this clip from Next with Kyle Clark, where he was talking about another Tabawatch uh, peak, I believe. And uh, apparently that is the way to say it. Although some of my coworkers told me they call it Tabawash, and I think that's correct too. All right, guys, now we have about four miles left. So I zeroed the odometer. That's what Fun Treks did in their book for this section. But it starts off pretty easy. But then apparently we're going to get into some difficult stuff. And I'm hoping it's some really good stuff. All right, now this view is definitely worth the drive. It is excellent. I love the colors. I love everything I'm seeing. I'm going to go into first gear, four wheel drive low, and just kind of descend and try to get some pretty cool shots. Actually, I'm going to get some really cool shots. All right, now I definitely get it now. This is very Moab-like. Looking over there specifically, that reminds me a lot of Moab's Hidden Canyon. And we have a trail guide coming from there that is gonna be awesome because it was my off-road test of my off-road camper. And boy, I put the camper through some paces there. That is gonna be quite intense. And I don't think I've seen people do the kind of stuff with their campers that I took that on there, but you guys will be the judge. I don't get to watch a whole bunch of stuff. But we right now are at the intersection for Hell's Hole. I want to finish this trail before it gets dark. Plus, I haven't eaten at all today. So besides some pretzels during that little rainstorm, if I can call that a rainstorm. But let's uh, keep going. But that's what I'm talking about, looks like Hidden Canyon. That right there. And if you guys have been there or if you see the trail guide, I think you'll agree with me. 
that's very similar right there. All right, now this trail was definitely a fun one to do, and I am very glad I did it. Overall, this trail is, you know, an interesting Colorado trail with some Moab flavor, I would say. And is it gonna replace Moab? Absolutely not. Moab has so many different trails, so many different things to see, but this is definitely, if you are in the area, a trail that you can take a stock Jeep Wrangler or even a, just a stock trail rated vehicle. I believe the Liberty can do this trail, no problem. But we'll have to see, maybe that'll be a topic for another video in the future. Now on the screen right now is our full breakdown. Overall, I would say this is an easier hard trail or maybe a harder, harder moderate trail. But overall, it's really not that bad. You pick good lines, you can go all through it and you can see a bunch of different stuff. All right, guys, we have made it to the Bangs Canyon Trailhead. This is the end of the waypoints for the, to, now I can't even say it. For the trail we just did, this is the end of the waypoints on there. But here you can get so much information on all the other stuff I do around here, including Billings Canyon Jeep Trail. Now that thing is a rock crawling trail and it's probably too much for that stock Jeep and definitely too much for the Liberty, but I do have some buddies that will probably take me out there and we can film some awesome rock crawling. So if that's something you guys wanna see, hit that subscribe button. If you guys wanna see a full length trail guide with multiple vehicles, click up there. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching, bye.